Hey there, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B. I'm the one who's going to be doing it your November 2020 uh, messages here. I'm going to pull you a few cards, see what we've got going on. Uh, this could have to do with health, uh, wealth, friends, family, love, really anything. This reading can go vice versa. This is not gender specific. So uh, thank you. Thank you all, uh, especially to for Spiritual Guidance Academy for allowing me this platform to also be a part of. All right. Uh, also, too, I have uh, selenite, this crystal right here. All right. What this crystal is really good for working with our uh, cleansing your environments, helping to keep it purified. It's a very low maintenance crystal. All right. Um, Possibly you can keep it at work if you still have uh, a desk or a place at work to go to or at home, uh, stuff like that. Also, too, possibly maybe uh, keeping it in your car, in the glove box, all right? And uh, we have a shout out here. Uh, thank you so much for watching this and for giving me a chance. Uh, also, too, I appreciate the thumbs up. Thank you for watching this all the way through. And again, thank you all. So we have a big shout out to somebody who left a comment on uh, the last time I was on here for October 2020. For those readings, feel free to check those out. All right. And I'm so sorry if I mispronounce your name. I'm totally not meaning to. Um, Sista, a uh, big shout out to you for leaving a comment last month here for the cancer readings. And uh, she had said, follow the spiritual superstar member. Carol, congratulations. Uh, thank you so much. And yes, I do have my own channel. So do feel free to check that out in case if you're curious on learning more about that and your generalized readings here. All right, so Cancer, you are a water sign. Ruling planet is the moon. So let's just get started here for our uh, new members on here. Uh, thank you so much. We're going to be asking our angels and our spirit guides to please come through if there's any particular messages that we have for our dear Cancer when it comes to November 2020. How are you all doing out there? Hanging in there? Well, let's try to thrive in this circumstance instead of just survive. How about that? All right, so your very first message here, just very briefly, just so you can kind of get to know me here. We have the moon. Wow. Your ruling planet is the moon. Uh, I'm not a Cancer, I'm a Taurus, but my moon is in Cancer, so I understand completely. You know, uh, it says here, take note of intuitive messages. So a lot of you are possibly waking up. A lot of you may be coming in to the realization that you are more spiritually awake than normal, and that can be very scary. All right, um, also too, uh, this is definitely keeping track of your inner knowing, your intuition, not necessarily having to listen to the chitter chatter of everybody else here. That's why I love uh, Nicole and um, especially this channel here too and the classes because uh, they are very helpful. They've helped me. And also too, if I cannot answer a question for you, then I definitely recommend Nicole. All right. Uh, but this is taking notes of what's going on here. If you feel like somebody is out to get you, if you will, if you do not have a good uh, vibe about a particular person, a particular place, a particular situation, possibly something that you're working on with yourself, take note of that because uh, it's so easy to wave away the red flags when we are getting that download of information. It can be very scary. You know, um, sometimes it may come in a dream or a nightmare, or perhaps maybe you don't dream. Take note of that. All right. Uh, the best way I can put this, and uh, especially too for my fellow empaths out there, my hiokis out there, I like to resort to comedy and music a lot. Uh, you know, before I even got started in any of this, you know, I was seeking all types of spiritual counsel. I'm like, am I crazy? You know, uh, is this just me or do I actually have a gift? All right. And, um, you know, I've had clients where I've talked to that have been cancer, cancerian energy, and they're like, I, I don't have that ability. Well, I believe that they do. It's almost like um, when 
I went to a uh, particular place, you know, and before I even knew what an empath was or anything like that, all right, hey, okay, empaths like to make people laugh, like to make them feel better, you know, you know, we don't like to see people cry, all right, uh, cancer, and I know, you know, all about this, you may be getting people like, you're crazy, um, you know, there you go again, like talking all this nonsense, like you're paranoid, First off and foremost, uh, the people that normally tell me when I'm being paranoid are the people that are typically the ones that are out to get me. Mm hmm. Yep. Put a one, 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 one down in the comments if you understand this. All right. And uh, it's hard. It's hard when you feel like that there are situations or groups of people around you or friends or even relatives may do this to you, you know, uh, or, you know, lovers or exes. Okay. So, uh, it's just like, why do I keep getting this type of treatment here? Not saying like, woe is me or this or that, but what is the, do they see something that's in me? So, uh, anyways, I'd gone to this place and the first thing that this woman had said, she's like, well, how do you feel about grocery shopping? I immediately almost went into a panic attack. I'm just like, oh boy, yeah, the parking lot is a disaster. You know, um, that is just like either an accident waiting to happen or waiting for somebody to ding your car. But however, it's the about the intentions that we're putting out there. All right, like attracts like, all right, whether it's good, negative, this and that. All right, um, again, this is at the very beginning of my journey here. And um, it's just, I, I can't stand it. Uh, <laughs> It, it terrifies me and it's just aggravating to me. And I mean, if you turn on the news or anything like that, which I do try to avoid, you know, I just catch what I need to off of it. And then that's that, <laughs> you know, uh, you hear about all these people and all these, these products that are not good for you, uh, what you're putting into your body and, you know, just the whole thing about the grocery shopping. I was joking around on, uh, one of the lives, I believe with Nicole and, uh, the other superstars there. And it's just like, yeah, the grocery shopper stocking, like every aisle you go down, there is that one person that's just in the way. <laughs> You know, uh, when you go to check out, it's just like you, you try to find the line that's the shortest, try to get the heck out of there because you don't because you're you're absorbing all of that energy. All right. And also, too, I have noticed, um, again, when it comes to career, when it comes to cancer, it always seems like somebody's either trying to one up you, whether you are in a career or not. Uh, also, too, I have noticed that. You know, uh, people are very jealous of you um, or possibly if you're trying to relay a message, it does not come across necessarily in the best way. I know all about that. Again, my moon is in cancer. So when we are holding in and onto all of our, you know, feelings and uh, information or whatever, if you will, because we don't want to bother people because of that. Well, you're crazy or you're paranoid or you're this and you're that. We don't want to deal with that judgment. All right. So it's really uh, weeding out the people, places, things, habits uh, that no longer are really here for us. And that can be the hardest thing to do. Uh, tough love, if you will. Also, too, uh, something just came up about wanting something that you can't have. I'm not sure if this has to do with you or thinking that you can't have it, or I'm not sure if this has to do with possibly an ex that wants you back and you're just like no hey listen I moved on <laughs> okay uh, can you please get the hints already and again I do understand a lot of you may be or are in different situations some of you are single some of you are already in a committed relationship big shout out to you I see a lot of fabulous things happening with that uh, some of you could be in that oh so fun should I stay should I go possibly a twin flame chaser runner possibly false twin flame all right so let's pull another card just to kind of get another idea here. Okay, so um, I am a uh, certified angel oracle reader. And uh, I've often gotten people being like, who do you think you are? Like with this certification and this and that and this and that. It's like, okay, um, just like any other, um, you know, career path or anything, you know, you go to school to get a degree, you, um, you know, you can become work under someone, all right, and you put in the work and people do not necessarily see what goes on behind closed doors. And it's just like, I earned this. So yes, all right. So the angel that we actually pulled for you, my dear Cancer, is uh, Archangel Shamuel. 
All right. Uh, it depends. You know, angels are neither male nor female. However, this one particularly comes to me most uh, most of the time as a more feminine energy. It says here life experience there. On the bottom here, it says a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change, time to spread your wings. All right. And uh, people are like, well, I want to wake up. You know, I want to see what um, you see and stuff like that. Everybody's experiences are different and they're not. Um, I had a very hard time, you know, and sometimes I still do. You know, I'll email Nicole like, oh, my gosh. Um, I looked into this and it was horrible. Like I've seen things that a person really shouldn't see. Uh, possibly, again, nightmares, night terrors, uh, spiritual attacks, stuff like that. And it's just like, uh, okay, you know, uh, people wanting to be able to see things, having this awakening. Well, I want to be awake too. What is this whole thing about? Awakening isn't always necessarily the best uh you know, not happiest thing, you know, it is for the most part, it is a gift and not a curse. That's the main thing that I did have to learn, you know, uh, working with that. And it, it's just like, all right, awareness, you know, how many times have you looked at a situation? These could be everyday situations. For example, uh, if you look at a person that you are in a relationship with, and I've been to down this road too, actually just recently, you know, I'm single for a reason. You know, um, when you try to date someone, then you see the true them and who they really are. And it, it turns out to be a monster. Boy, did I get fooled. Boy, did I get fooled. And it's just like, all right, I did not want to come to this realization about this particular type of person. All right. And uh, what do I do now? How do I handle this? Okay. Archangel Shamuel is also known as an archangel that helps you if you lose something. Who loses things around here like your keys, your pen, your headphones, you know, uh, anything like that, your paperwork. And it's just like, I know I put this here and I go to Archangel Shamuel. And the trick about working with angels are they love you. They want to help you. They are never too busy for you. However, they cannot interfere with free will unless it's under the law of grace. All right. In emergency type situations where they feel the need to step in, like, uh, you know, uh, maybe you lost your keys, for example, because if you would have found them at the particular time that you were meant to find them and got on the road, perhaps you were about to get into a car accident. Maybe that extra couple of minutes saved you from that. Maybe that extra couple of minutes saved you on getting on a, a dysfunctional elevator or whatever, you know. All right. But Archangel Shamuel will help you find these things. But again, you do have to ask. You can never overwork your angels, overextend them. And again, they love you and they want to help you. And it doesn't matter, uh, you know, and I do understand that different people out there believe have different uh, spiritual belief systems or, you know, lack thereof or, you know, religious and this and that. It doesn't matter. The angels, your spirit guides, you know, are there to help you. So if I lose like a pen or something, I'll be like, all right, Archangel Shamuel, please, I need you to help me find this object because I just need you to help me find it. And they work quick. They work very, very quick. All right. Possibly to uh, working with rose quartz. You can work with a heart shaped rose quartz or also two rose quartz. One for each hand is another way of bringing Archangel Shamuel in. Also, too, this is working with self love. However, a uh, significant life event and this could in cycle carolyn just get to love here when am i going to meet the right guy when am i going to meet the right woman are we going to get married or what okay again it's having that patience here do you really want to rush into anything how many times have we looked back in life and it just like really dodged a bullet with that one <laughs> you know i thought they were the one but they weren't you know i wanted to have a child with that person glad i didn't you know uh however too this also too is a powerful powerful revelation that leads to change the situation and change is very scary you know um and we can all see that with what's going on in the world okay so let's see let's pull you one last message here one final message and uh again thank you all so much for tuning in i do appreciate the love the support all right understand that you're not alone in any of this okay all right so your very last message for cancer when it comes to november 2020 uh we it says here receive with love and appreciation, receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. Sometimes it's hard to um, 
receive a gift. All right. It could be a gift, like a kind word, like somebody. And I'm, I've been guilty of doing this too. So I'd be like, oh my gosh, you are beautiful. And then I will turn around and I'll catch myself and I'll be like, excuse you. I don't think so. So that's a gift, you know, a note that you give to someone, a card. Uh, it can be an extravagant gift of money and wealth. It does not necessarily have to be. A gift could be, you know, maybe you know somebody had a hard day at work or really stressed out and you're like, hey, you know what, maybe I'm, I'm going to cook today for a change or I'm going to clean this up or go run this errand or, you know, don't worry about this, bae, like I got you, something like that, all right? Something significant to do with the winter that is coming up as far as your future goes or uh, something to that happened last winter and is coming to a uh, full circle when it comes to this winter to possibly an ex coming back on in or trying to maybe somebody made a mistake possibly it was you I'm not sure uh, people can change I'm a huge advocate for that and uh, that is loving if you okay if we look at the snowflake here it's almost like she's uh, afraid to catch it all right because what happens when you catch a snowflake it immediately melts all right snowflakes are unique there's no one alike and that's just like you cancer okay uh so this is letting you know in order to receive that love that we deserve all right um do be on the lookout for possibly somebody that wants to love you and it, it either seems like feast or famine for a lot of you you know uh why is it either all these people want to date me or nobody at all what's the deal who's Who's who and what's what here? So uh, again, this is just a very quick message just coming on here to say hello, thank you, and I appreciate all of you and keep up the good work. And uh, I'll be working along with you. So uh, working on the things that I need to work on as well. So hopefully, again, this was helpful to somebody out there. And until next time.